Hello everybody. After priming all the stiffeners and doublers, we can now rivet them to the firewall. In this case I decided to use back riveting, first of all because uh, I'm by myself and also because I think it's easier. Also I always like the results of back riveting. The problem is of course that um, there are a lot of stuff that is uh, fastened with Glicos. So you have to be careful that you're not that your back riveting set, the, the steel plate, is not is flat with the surface, right? So there are no glicos attached. It's, it happened several times, by the way. Uh, several times uh, there was one glico still hitting the plate, and then uh, you don't get a very nice flush set rivet. So I start with the stiffeners and uh, building it up. Maybe in hindsight it was better to remove all the stiffeners and all the material and just build it up one by one. So what I did now is I kept all the uh, every, all the construction uh, intact, clico together, and do it um, that way. Of course, if you remove everything first, then there's no chance of hitting a clico. You can see the tape, which I'm removing right now here. Uh, that tape is used because that part where the recess is, the recess from the motor compartment, that you should not rivet that because uh, you need to rivet that together with the recess. And preventing me to forget this, I uh, taped, taped it so I have a visual cue that uh, I shouldn't rivet that. I use painter's tape to keep the, um, the rivets in place. There is special special rivet tape for that, but yeah, painter's tape just works fine. So uh, there's no reason for me to uh, to get special tape for that. It's really sharp, The uh, that is the firewall plate, so the, the, the steel plate. And uh, after one day of riveting, you actually you will actually bleed from all kinds of places in your arms because uh, yeah, you just cut everywhere. You'll see that later that I, uh, especially the, the, the edges, they are really, really sharp. And uh, yeah, by after turning it all every time, you, uh, you'll end up with all kinds of cuts everywhere in your hands and arms. So that's not very uh, comfortable. Back riveting goes great. Uh, there are a few spots I cannot uh, get to. Uh, mostly the angles, two big angles on the bottom side. Uh, on the inside there are four rivets, which I uh, cannot handle uh, for with back riveting, so I have to do that later. And uh, now you can see already I start bleeding on my arms, <laughs> especially with my uh, elbow. Yeah, I put a yeah, great. So that's uh, actually uh, a piece of cloth that I use to clean the tank with. So that's uh, it'll seal the fuel tank. It'll probably seal my uh, arm. So that's okay. Maybe I should have wear the a jacket or something like that, which uh, then at least I probably ripped that one and not my arms. But okay. That angle is actually a little uh, tricky because on the inside there is a double double uh, type of steel, so it's a little bit thicker. And uh, yeah, you have to be careful there that you take the right rivet because they're not all the same length rivets that you have to put in there. Uh, I did it wrong the first time, so I had to drill it out. Obviously, but um, yeah, and I think there in that. Corner, I made a mistake with uh, one Clico still being in there, although I don't see a Clico. Yeah, there I had to drill it out. Ah, uh, that's probably the, the double length. So I had to drill out several rivets. Because it was flush. 
mainly because there was a uh, yeah what I said there was a clico well drilling out is not that hard actually so it's uh, not a problem it's more the just stupidity to uh, have not looked correctly so that's uh, a problem all the outside rivets are all four a thickness of four and the uh, the inside angled stiffeners and the recess rivets are all threes so uh, you have to be careful there to take the right ones so what you're looking at now is the, the front side of the firewall so that's the part where the engine will come and it's the aft side so this is actually where the uh, cockpit compartment comes in so in the four angles there will be longer runs attached to them and that will kind of keep the fuselage connected to the firewall and on this side there will be a, a motor mount an engine mount which I don't have yet I have to look into the uh, engine mount anyway because I'm uh, considering not adding a Lycoming engine to this one but uh, I'm really set to use a UL power engine so uh, I have to look into that because there is still no factory guaranteed cowling and engine mount to it alright finishing up again the uh, all the rivets I couldn't set which are I think 8 and two, so there are 12 uh, rivets I cannot set. Uh, I will do that next time. Uh, normally, w uh, when my dad is there, because it's easier to do it with two guys. When we start working on the main bulkhead. Oh, yeah, next time I will use the noise cancellation headsets earlier. Because riveting on a uh, steel plate is really, really loud. Okay, continuing building my pie in the sky. <laughs> 